Hey YouTube, I'm back. <laughs> it just dawned on me that I needed to do a little recording for this channel. I did a YouTube live on my other channel and I think I nailed that one. Uh, and I'm working on a blog for International Women's Day. I have on my Empowered shirt, my Empowered tank top today. Um, yeah. It's important for you to sit in your power and the beginning of this month has been one of the most profound um, series of events in my life, in my adult life, I think, professionally. Um, without going into too much personal detail, as a woman, sometimes we tolerate too much disrespect um, sometimes we tolerate too much, too much that's not, that's not even something we should tolerate. Um, people thinking that they can, whether take advantage of you in the workplace or personally, um, for this International Women's Day, they're centering it around empowering women, gender inequality, something about climate change and sustainable futures. What I can tell you in terms of ensuring that you have a sustainable future is to sit in your power. That has been the big message for me personally. I have been making some decisions that I think even five years ago, if you told me I was gonna make those decisions and walk away from certain things, I would have been like laughing like, no, are you crazy? But you can't be so focused on what um society thinks your peace is of paramount importance and for 2022 um i am definitely sitting in my peace and my power if you want to make sure that you're fully empowered it's important for you to understand what you bring to the table know your worth um, try different things engage with different people explore um so that you know what is out there um and knowing what is out there has been a huge comfort for me uh the amount of support that i get for people who understand what i'm doing or they don't understand what i'm doing but they just respect me that is so critical um so yeah for this international women's day um, we have one half of the equation. We're not one quarter. We're not one tenth. We are one half of the equation. And if you ever wonder whether you are not sitting your power or not, um, if it doesn't feel right, if it feels intuitively, women have a deeper sense of intuition, I find. If it intuitively it grates against your being, step away. Or give yourself some time so you understand where you where you feel the disconnect coming from um for me personally i've discovered that i thrive in the creative side um so i'm definitely going to be doing more of the things that make me happy and allow me to explore that creative side like the youtube live it was a lot of work behind the scenes creating content for youtube just generally just even this is a lot of work but once you sit in that place where you're comfortable and you're happy, you can accomplish so much. Just focus on your goals and where necessary, you don't explain yourself. Women apologize a lot. Stop doing that. Um, what are you apologizing for? Somebody disrespects you, be polite, be professional, but don't apologize for sitting in your power. I think that's the biggest message for this International Women's Day for me. And when they talk about gender inequality, um, I am not saying that I'm a man. I'm not really having any comments about the LGBTQ community. Um, what I'm saying is that I know within myself, I hold my power and I am not letting anyone take it from me. Don't let anyone take it from you. So guys, short video, but I'll be back tomorrow. I promise. Lots.
going on. Um, but yeah, so I'll catch you on the next one.